Hey everyone, it's time for a family vacation and this time we're going to Oahu, Hawaii for one week. We recommend staying here for at least a minimum of one week because there is just so much to do and see here. Because we stayed in a more residential area, we rented an eight passenger van from Turo for about $200 a day so that our group could stick together. We scored a beautiful five bedroom Airbnb in Lanakai with a gorgeous backyard and a pool with a private beach down the street. Knowing we had access to a private beach, we had to take advantage of it, so we used Airbnb experiences to find a photographer for a family photo shoot. The weather turned out to be a bit overcast, but I think it added to a dramatic effect to the photos. The entire session ended up costing about $300 for one hour. Our first stop was to eat at Boots and Kimo's, home of the original macadamia nut pancake sauce. It was super delicious and filling. Yum. Afterward, we decided to hike the Lanakai pillboxes. This was a relatively short hike near Kailua, which was about 1.7 miles. It has quite a bit of an incline, so hiking shoes or shoes with grip on the soles was helpful here. The hike has two military bunkers along the way, and it ends with a beautiful panoramic view of Lanakai Beach. In military terms, pillboxes actually means a defensive site such as a machine gun pillbox, but that's actually not the case here. These structures functioned as coast artillery observation stations back in 1943 and did not house any defense equipment. The next morning, we headed to Manoa Falls for another hike. The trail is 1.6 miles and can get pretty muddy and slippery. Make sure you're wearing appropriate footwear because we saw people wearing flip-flops and it did not look good. They were just slipping and sliding all over the place. We took a small break here to admire this natural arch created by the jungle. We finally got to the waterfall, there were a lot of people, but if you want better photo ops, I would recommend going earlier than we did. The waterfall stood up about 150 feet high and had a small pool beneath it. I read that you shouldn't swim in it though because you can get a disease called leptospirosis which can cause flu-like symptoms for up to two weeks. Humidity is basically a welcome party for insects so don't forget to bring that bug spray. Hanama Bay is a nature preserve and a home to sea turtles. If you visit at the right time, you might get lucky and see some. It's illegal to physically touch them though, so make sure you keep your distance. After purchasing your tickets, you have to line up for a video orientation which covers the rules and history of the park. After the exciting video presentation, you take a tram that takes you down to the beach. You can also snorkel here, which makes it a really popular spot for tourists. So the morning is the best time to get in the water before the water gets too murky from all the human visitors. If you don't have the equipment, you can rent a snorkel and flippers for $20 or get a premium snorkel which covers your entire face for $40. We purchased our snorkels before the trip on Amazon for $30 because we knew we would snorkel at more than one location. One of the most popular brunch spots in Oahu is Cinnamons, and we can see why. We ordered the guava chiffon pancakes, crab cake benedict, banana pancakes, and traditional eggs benedict. The pancakes were about $15 for a full stack, and the benedicts were $18.25. The portions are huge, so it's great for sharing. Waimea Valley is located in the north shore of Oahu. The admission here is $25 for adults and $14 for children. It's a nice and chill 3.5 mile hike with flat paved trails. You'll come across bridges and gardens with native greenery and maybe even run into some peacocks along the way. 
The entire trail is picturesque, so don't forget to bring your camera. At the end of the trail, you get the opportunity to cool off in the water. Life jackets are included in your mission, so make sure you grab one of those so you don't drown. There was some heavy rainfall a few days prior, so the water looked like chocolate water, but we jumped in anyway. When else will you get a chance to do something like this? Be careful when you get in because the rocks are slippery and the water was freezing, but it was worth it for the experience. It's not a complete trip to Hawaii if you don't stop for garlic shrimp. We went to Giovanni's Shrimp Truck at North Shore and got shrimp scampies all around. It comes with two scoops of rice and a dozen garlicky shrimps. We always ask for extra garlic butter to smother the rice with. Each plate costs about $15. They opened another location in the Waikiki Food Court, but I heard it's not as good as their trucks at North Shore. Then we finished our farm meal with some fresh young coconuts for $8 each from another truck, the perfect refresher after a long day. If you ever visit Hawaii, you should go to at least one luau for the experience. It's not something we personally would do more than once, but it's a neat activity. We chose to go to the Chief's Luau in Makupu Meadows found in the Sea Life Park of Oahu. Chief's Luau is the highest rated one in Oahu, so make sure you book your tickets in advance. We personally thought the tickets were a little pricey with adult tickets at $165 and $143 for kids. Admission includes dinner and a show. They have areas in the beginning where they teach you how to weave hats with banana leaves. Then the event kicks off with a cooking ceremony where they roast a whole pig in the emu. Don't get too excited because you don't get to eat the actual roasted pig that they're showing you. But the food is cooked off site and served buffet style. To be honest, the food itself was not the best, but the show kind of makes up for it. The chief was really funny and the performers made it an entertaining night. The sound of the big shell right here. The night ended with Mai Tais and slow dancing under the Oahu moonlight. And that concludes our one week trip to Hawaii. Please like and subscribe if we helped you decide what to do on your next trip. See you in the next video. Thanks.